Raoul Powell gives a huge bullish outlook for the future and a big warning to get ready for an opportunity of a lifetime. For those under 40, Raoul believes this is the biggest chance to get rich. Whilst the economic world looks completely grim with, you know, record high inflation and a recession looming, and some even analysts suggesting a depression is coming, Raoul Powell still believes this is the greatest opportunity and the best time ever to become rich. Raoul believes whilst we are all heading deeper into a recession, now is the absolute greatest time to get rich by starting a business or investing into crypto. There's a whole new world that is being disrupted by both the business world and the financial world and for those who are willing to learn, Raoul says it will be the best decision of their life. Before we go any further, if you please could subscribe to my channel Jamie Tech and turn on post notifications, I'd really appreciate it as I'm trying to bring you guys the best videos I can as fast as possible. Now let's get straight into the video. The good thing that younger people have is all their future earnings ahead of them. So if anybody wants to make the biggest investment, make it in yourself. That's the key thing. We also operate in a world where you can have multiple revenue streams because you might be able to make revenue from one thing, and then from your main job. But so think about that, that robustness builds your own portfolio. And that's about the robustness of your income stream and where you wanna go in life. So then if you're 30 years old and you've got ahead of you, you know, the next 30 years of trying to accumulate wealth, well, firstly, don't forget, income is worth more than capital. Because if you have a million dollars and you stick it in the bond market, you're going to get $10,000 a year. <laughs> Right. But for the average person to, over a couple of years, increase their income by $10,000 is not that unachievable. So it's like being a millionaire. Every 10 grand you have is like being a millionaire in terms of your earning power. So that's the key thing. Then after that, it's like, okay, look at the opportunity set in front of you. So let's say you're in a good job now. You're starting to invest. You're starting to save for the future. What is it? Well, my first thing always for everybody is... If you can, buy a home. Get to that point of safety where you know you could take risk, then take risk. So what does risk look like? Well, right now, the equity markets are at all-time record valuations. Sure, emerging markets have done relatively worse, so maybe they're relatively more interesting, but they're expensive. Bond yields are all-time lows. Credit, all-time low yields. So you're not being paid to take risk. Most of these have a future expected return that's negative. But then there's a whole different world out there, which is the world of a new financial system being built, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum and DeFi and all of this stuff that people are hearing about. And Gen Z and millennials are much more aware of this because Gen Z particularly have lived in Minecraft and all of these things where tokens and digital assets have value, right? It's just not, it's not abnormal. It's abnormal for a baby boomer to think about that, but everybody else is like, yeah, of course it is. Tokens, of course we live with different currencies in different worlds. It's not a problem. So it's a small leap to Bitcoin, which has a future expected value higher than any other asset class in terms of risk reward. Sure, it goes up and down 50, 60, 70% down, but its upside is 10, 50, 100x. Hmm. So if you're young, you can afford to take that bet because it can be life-changing. It's the same kind of bet, but better than the baby boomers got in 1980 when they were about 30 years old. Because what did they get? When they were 30 years old, they got a stock market at record low valuations and a bond market with record high yields. You almost have to be an idiot not to make money. Millennials are faced with something much harder as our Gen Z because property is expensive too, unless you move. The digital economy and particularly COVID has shown that we can move anywhere now. So if you think that you can get a quality of life in Thailand because you're in Hong Kong and you say, you know, I'm not going to hang around in Hong Kong longer, any longer, I'm going to go to Thailand. You can easily run a business from Thailand. So Raul then goes on to say basically how, you know, the young Gen Z are going to be following new rules and they're not going to be following the footsteps of the old rules, how things used to work. The new economical system is going to be much, much different for the new Gen Z and also people who are also investing in it now. Raul believes that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are going to be the new investment and the new risks for the younger Gen Z to be able to act on. And that is something that everybody needs to be risking if they want to become financially stable in the future. He says once you realize that, things are liberated. 
I want to know what you guys think about this too. So please leave your comments and your thoughts down in the comment section below. I personally think what he's saying has so much truth for it and everybody should be thinking this way. I also think he's got it spot on with how people need to realize that the new future is now and not following the old rules. Okay, so now you've got a quality of life advantage. You can probably buy a house for pretty cheap. Okay, so now you're safe and secure and now you look at your future potential, well, Bitcoin might be that answer. So the, it's going to be a new world and that's good because you guys, the millennials and the Gen Z are not going to be following the old rules. And once you realize that, you're liberated. I think if you're 30 years old, this is the biggest opportunity of your lifetime. Out of crisis comes opportunity. So what you've done is you've cleared out a load of old businesses and the world is changing. I noticed this when I went to Japan a couple of years, a few years ago, is it bifurcates between the big brands and the big businesses and then artisanal stuff. And we've seen that movement already across the US, across Europe, where people are opening, you know, young people are opening like cool bakers or a, you know, cool clothing place where they make cool clothing themselves and stuff like that. So there is a bifurcation that's going on. And what you've just done is cleared out the high street mm. of all of the old shit that needed to go now that's painful and horrible because it's people's life savings and their businesses but thinking like you should is okay all of that old stuff is gone rents are collapsing i could start a business mm -hmm. your probability of success of starting a business in a down cycle is so much higher than starting it when rents are high you're competing for everything and it is about doing unique stuff find your niche the world used to be like amazon broad but we're all finding that deep is the other strategy. Let's say you like baking, well, become the best. Because guess what? You will always have business. Or, you know, you are particularly good at a certain thing. That, that opportunity is there. So retail is going to be a huge opportunity within this. It's just different retail. Don't sell stuff that everybody else sells. Sell unique stuff. We've seen it with the rise of, you know, um, farm to table eating and food and all of this stuff. We've seen it with clothing, we've seen it with jewelry, we've seen it with all sorts of things. So there's opportunities for creative outlets, which you couldn't do in cities because it was too expensive. I mean, to have a creative idea for a business in New York City or Hong Kong or London, yeah, you get marginalized to the kind of other neighborhoods. Well, guess what? That's going to change. So yes, it's terrible. And yes, it's going to be lingering. And yes, it's miserable for many but change is always opportunity. That was pretty much everything he said, but I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about what Raw is saying? Do you think that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is going to be, like he said, the biggest opportunity of the lifetime for somebody to get rich? I personally think from my perspective that cryptocurrency and the way things are moving is definitely the biggest opportunity for anyone's lifetime right now. But I'd be very intrigued to know what you guys think in the comments section below. So if you are new to my channel, guys, please make sure you subscribe to it. I bring out videos every single day, bringing you guys all the latest bits and bobs from interviews to cryptocurrencies and all the latest things that you guys want to know. So if you want to stay up to date, please make sure you subscribe. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.